I'm the son of immigrants. My dad came to this country with just 57 cents in his pocket. My mom and dad met in a Chinese restaurant called the Hong Kong Kitchen on Blue Hills Avenue in Bloomfield. My dad was a cook and my mom was a waitress. Um, they decided they'd, they'd get together and try to open their own place. We only take a holidays for July 4th and Christmas. It's hard to run the restaurant seven days a week, so everybody has to pitch in. There were weekends where I worked around the clock with my folks, you know, side by side. William's background growing up in uh, West Hartford, working in a restaurant, helping out his parents, he really is what the American dream is all about. We did what we had to, and I think that's that's what immigrants do. And that's what uh, the children of immigrants have to do. He came from a family without means. Uh, he worked uh, in, a, in a restaurant. Uh, he studied hard, uh, became an attorney, uh, was elected to public office. It's a reassuring story. He came to Stanford and wanted to get involved in the Democratic Party. And he then decided to take on a huge undertaking when he ran for state representative himself in a district that had never before been represented by a Democrat. I knocked on over 6,000 doors in North Stanford and became. And I walked in and I said to my mom, this is tough, I'm scared, I'm not gonna win. And she shot out and she said, Vipassama, which in Chinese means, what are you afraid of? And in that one instant, um, you know, she was saying to me, you've got nothing to be afraid of. If you think about what what your dad and I went through, all the chances that we've taken, and you're afraid of losing an election? One of the significant pieces of legislature that William helped to push through that made a real impression on me was the bill to give uh, in-state tuition to children of undocumented workers in this country. When we in the legislature listened to William's passion about that issue, I, I voted for that bill. William is the father of three young children. He just had a brand new baby at the end of our legislative session. He knows how important a good education is. The first few grades were spent here at Whiting Lane Elementary. And then the house that I grew up in is on the corner. We didn't have much sometimes when I was growing up, but we had a house. He understands that the most important asset that anyone has is their home. And being chairman of the bank's committee has been able to pass legislation to keep thousands of Connecticut families in their homes. Our family suffered a devastating tragedy over 30 years ago when my father was kidnapped and murdered. I became involved in a nonprofit group in Connecticut called Survivors of Homicide. I met William Tong and he demonstrated empathy and compassion upon listening to my story, and I felt heard for one of the very first times. There was a bill proposed for several years that was shot down year after year, which would uh, require a law-abiding gun owner to report the theft of his firearm. Then William Tong got involved. William's perseverance on the gun control passage was monumental. It wasn't in vain, Daddy. Some good is going to come from this. William's passion for marriage equality in the state and his fight for that was very dramatic. For William, it was about civil rights, not just gay rights. You drive up and down a busy district like this, and you see too many um, you know, storefronts that are empty. This used to be a 7-Eleven. It's all boarded up. The backbone of the state of Connecticut is really a small business. That's where William comes in. William's uh, family owned their own business. William worked in that business. William understands how a small business works. What we've tried to do in my committee uh, is to make sure that uh, our community banks, who are on the front lines of this recovery, that they're lending. You know, for the first time in my life, I'm hearing people say that they don't think that their kids will do better uh, or have better opportunities than they did. When I was growing up, my parents had this certainty that we could make it if we worked hard. We need to get our confidence back in this country. If you're going to help working people, it helps to have come from working people. A lot of people talk about the American dream. William has lived it, and William will fight for it.
My dad asked me if he could donate to the campaign. And I said, yeah, just give me 57 cents.